Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Andre, and uh, today we're going to do a little bit of an experiment for you. We've got this beautiful piece of fresh pork belly. If you've watched any of my other videos, when I've done pork belly, I've always talked about salting and curing it first, and I really didn't get much into it, but today we're going to do an experiment. So we're going to take this piece, cut it into three. The first piece no salt. Piece two is going to just be with regular sea salt and piece three we're going to cure it with curing salt or salt with sodium nitrite and show you the difference. I know from experience what I'm going to gravitate to but I want to show you the difference from start to finish and why I always keep talking about it. Because I really feel, in my opinion, you're missing out on a huge chunk of flavor that could be in that meat, which isn't. I'll get more into it, but uh, let's get to prep. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna trim it up. And save all your trimming because when I have a belly trim for my sausages, this is how I get it. So save it all. I'm just going to trim it up a bit. I'm just going to square it off a bit. This is all loose stuff we don't want. Wear off this end a bit. This way too, I'm looking for any bones because the ribs, or the St. Louis ribs, are right here. So they've done actually a pretty good job. Nothing, there's no glands if you... But we are taking the rind off. I don't like the rind when we, uh, when we smoke it. But we're going to save the rind because I have other plans for it. And uh, if you have not much experience with this, just take your time. Nice sharp knife. And you want to angle the knife up into the skin. You'd rather cut through the skin than down into the meat and uh, have it lots of cuts. It's not nice. There, cut that. Just like that. So I'm not going to actually weigh it, I'm just going to basically rough it, roughly go cut this into three, just that we have fairly even pieces. And as you can see, holy crap, I don't know if you can, that is extremely lean. Woo. What we're going to do, piece one, we're going to just vacuum pack. I am going to freeze this one because it's going to sit around all week and I don't want it to sit around uncured in the fridge all week. Uh, pork doesn't last as long as beef. But I will take this out the day before and thaw it out. So I'm going to write on it too that we know exactly this is no salt. And now I'm going to just uh, weigh out the salt. I'm going to do a 1.8% amount of salt by volume. So I'm going to actually weigh the piece first and then measure out the salt based on that piece. And we're going to do the same amount for the curing salt as well. Now the reason I'm doing the regular salt first is because if the regular salt gets onto the curing salt, not a big deal. Because if we use regular salt, it's not going to change the color. But if I use pickling salt first and that gets onto anything with regular salt, that's when the, the curing salt turns things pink because of the sodium nitrite. That's why we're doing it this way, so it doesn't matter. I love vacuum packing things when we cure it because that way under vacuum you 
really expand all those pores and it just sucks right in to the meat so much better. So if you can do it, you don't have to, but it just helps. And on this one, we're just gonna write regular salt. I always go as far as using different spoons, that way I don't cross-contaminate anything. That's there. And we're gonna do the same thing, try and get a little bit on all the sides, on the ends. And we're gonna just write on curing salt. That way we know for sure. So now, these two that have been salted are going down in the fridge. This, I'm gonna call naked piece, which has no salt at all. This is gonna go in the freezer and I'll see you back in a week and we're gonna smoke this and I'm gonna show you what the difference is. I know what I prefer already, but I wanna let you guys see the three different pieces and why I always advocate curing it because you're always missing out on that extra flavor. See you next week. Welcome back everybody, it's a week later. These two have cured beautifully. This guy is the no salt. So just a little recap, I just wanna show you guys where you're missing out on flavor. That's why I'm actually doing this to, to really emphasize what you're making could taste just that much better. And that's just my opinion, but I think I'm right because I've had lots of people compliment on certain things. And let's get these in the smoker. I'm a little behind today because it finally stopped raining and uh, she's at 225, which is perfect. We're gonna get these open and in there. I'm gonna open the no salt first and keep it on this tray because I don't want, especially the pickling salt, I, you'll really see why I don't want them touching after. Now we're gonna do the regular salt one. Get away. And I am gonna mark them. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a piece of white string and put it in the regular salt one. I'm just gonna put it through here. Doesn't matter where. Because otherwise, if you put them in there, you actually might lose track of which is which and that's not good. So this way we see white string. We know that's regular salt. And I'm gonna open this guy, which is the one with curing salt. And I'm actually gonna use a piece of red string. Just cut this, we don't need the extra. Now just quickly, this is regular. This is what normal fresh pork looks like. You've got the one cured with regular salt. Looks basically identical, but if you actually touch it, it's much firmer, so you know it's the salt's done something to the meat. And then this guy with the, the curing salt, it's a much pinker, brighter color. Also nice and cured, nice and firm. I know the salt and the cure did its thing. And uh, to the smoker we go. Oof, that never gets old. <laughs> so. I'm gonna go with the regular salt, or the no salt first. And we're gonna do it all fat side up. Now this is the regular salt. I don't want them, nobody touching, that's. And then the curing salt. Just like that. Okay, it's been two hours and we're gonna take the first look. And I'm actually gonna take the temperature. I just wanna know where we're at. Coming along, coming along. Let's uh, do this. Oh, just, to, just to let you know, I'm only gonna cook these to an internal of 71 degrees Celsius. 
We're gonna hot smoke these because I want to use it as bacon. I don't need to bring it up to like the 200 and get it all fork tender. But let's just do this. 65, get in the thicker end, let's just see. You're almost done. Okay, a little bit longer and then we're gonna go uh, show you what all this difference is. Welcome back everybody. Cook time, two hours and like 45 minutes. I've had it resting for about 45 minutes just so I can handle it better because they were hot. And uh, let's just dive in. Now, as you can see, they all look the same. Uh, there's no way to really physically tell them apart. That's why you put string on them to ident identify it. And we're gonna start with the fresh one to get a baseline and then uh, go up. And I'm excited because I'm gonna use the, the brisket knife again. Link to the video where I uh, try it out. We'll be up there. So here we go. I'm just gonna cut them in half just to show you. Come on, focus. That is the fresh one. This is the one with regular salt. Looks beautiful. And this is the one with curing salt. As you can see, it's even more pink, more color. Mm. Anyways, I'm going to slice a few slices of each and put them beside each other just so that you can compare. So now when we take a close look at them, you'll see here on the fresh one, it's, yes, it's a little bit pink on the outside, but that's where the smoke went in and that's normal. But if you look at the middle here, it's white. That's just a piece of fresh pork being cooked. And that is the, the natural color of the meat, which is normal. Same thing, the regular salt, you got pink on the outside, that's where the smoke came in, but the middle here, again, is white, which is normal. And then you come over to the, the one that was cured with pickling salt, and you'll see it's pink all the way through, because that's the sodium nitrite, that's what it does to the meat, it has that reaction and gives it that pinky color, which is normal, looks great. This is what I expected, and uh, they all look fantastic. But now we're gonna taste them. Just a piece from the middle. It's pork belly, but it's just plain pork. No real extra flavoring. Exactly what I expected. Now we're gonna go to the regular salt. Just a piece from the middle. Huge difference from here to here. You really do taste that salt. The salt goes all the way through. You gotta give it at least seven, seven to 10 days. You wanna make sure that, that that salt goes all the way through, does its job. This tastes so much better than this. This is why I keep saying you should salt and cure your pork belly or other pieces of meat if you're going to cook them like this because you're missing out on a huge flavor advantage. And now the, exactly what I expected, what I'm used to, because I've done this so many times, fantastic. These two are virtually the same, but with that cure, it's going to give you that pinky meat but 
If you don't have access to it or you don't want to buy it, just use regular salt and you will get a much better tasting product. Yeah. Minimum, do this. And if you have it, do that. Uh, not everybody will like the, the whiteness of the regular salt. That's a personal preference. But the salt does its thing. It does cure it and add a whole bunch of flavor. I knew what my, the results were gonna be because I've done this for so many years, but I just wanted to show you that, take that time, take regular salt and at least cure it with that and you're gonna get a much, much better tasting product. I'd like you to do this yourself. Do like a head to head. You don't need to use the curing salt, but do one with fresh and do one with regular salt and you'll see a huge difference and uh, I'd love to know your your thoughts on this anyways everybody thanks for watching uh, for me this experiment was a total success because we totally showed from no salt regular salt curing salt what they look like what to expect fantastic love it thanks for the support Hit that like and subscribe, leave me some comments like always, and uh, happy eating.